In this illustration, we intend to simulate an hourglass-shaped strip damper subjected to cyclic loading in the Abacus software. In this picture, you can observe the formation of the damper under the cyclic loading. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are similar to the results inferred from the article. In this picture, you can observe the strip damper itself. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Hourglass Shaped Strip Damper Subjected to Monotonic and Cyclic Loadings. In this picture, you can observe the experimental sample. Also, in this picture, you can observe the hysteresis diagram drawn in the article. In this question, the type of damper is KSSS400. In the next step, I will click on Mechanical menu, select Elasticity and Elastic. Young modulus is equal to 200,000 megapascal and Poisson ratio is equal to 0.3. In the next step, I will click on Mechanical menu, select Plasticity and Plastic. In this question, we use the sample number one. Yield stress is equal to 308.5. And ultimate stress is equal to 446.5 megapascal. Click on seed part. Enter the approximate global size equal to 10 millimeters and OK. I'll click on mesh part. Continue.
In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the strip damper in the Alcus software. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Alcus software. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. Here, I will select all reaction forces. Click on Save As, then select Sum. And OK. Here, I'll select Displacement and click on Save As. And then I will click on Create XY Data, select Operate on XY Data, and continue. Here I select Combine. First select U1, and then Total Force, and click on Save As. Here you observe the hysteresis diagram of the model. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, a unit of which is newton. Here the diagram having been drawn with blue color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very similar to, the, to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated properly in the Abacus software.